good 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 afternoon to all of you. Um, today is 2029. 20, I'm in uh, I'm in right now in Rentogo. Now we have a farmer who has called me. Come uh, by someone is calling you. Have, um, we have a person here who called me. Uh, he was having mortalities of animals here at his farm. Um, I traveled immediately because I've reached here and they told me they had over 130 animals, but uh, just a week, six days have died. So, on asking for some history, they told me they are just deworned them. And this is how the animals look after the one come and come and show them this. Come and show them this. The diarrhea. So that is that is how the animals look. Show them these animals. This is how the animals look after the one. And um, now you can look at these ones. They have dropped dead. Um, just within the house, many of them have just dropped dead. Uh, come and show them these ones. Show them these ones. They have just dropped dead this morning. You can see they have ticks. They are coughing. Show them those ones. Those ones have dropped dead. Um, so, um, this is what we've been talking about. Um, right now, we've conducted a post-mortem, and what, what is killing them is what we call clostridia infections, uh, namely enterotoxemia. But this, this did not come from nowhere. These animals were not deworn for a long time. They have been under dewormed, and uh, in under deworming them, uh, what happened is uh, their immunity went down, immunity reduced. Uh, they don't have blood, they are very anemic, they are not healthy at all, because the internal parasites degraded them, they degraded their immunity, they have been feeding on them for a long time. So when they dewormed uh, with albafas, they opened the system uh, of susceptibility of enterotoxemia. Remember the, 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 the bacteria, the, the Clostridium bacteria is always present in the gut of the animals. But it is waiting for a time when there are favorable conditions for it. Uh, to, to, to produce toxins that are killing these animals. So, when they dewormed them, uh, they were supposed to make sure that they vaccinate them against uh, clostridios. They were supposed to do the same, the, the two activities at the same time. But they didn't, they only dewormed. So they opened the gut to the bacteria to produce toxins because once you deworm, when the animals have been heavily uh, uh, having a lot of parasites, that means you're going to clear their gut and nothing will remain there. So you'll open the system to the bacteria to, to, call, to, to produce toxins and this will happen after. So you people that don't deworm very often and wait for your animals to first deteriorate so you can deworm them, this is what is going to happen to you. You're going to deworm, and after deworming, your animals are going to die like this. Because you've presented the problem. You've given the bacteria, the, 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 the Clostridium bacteria, favorable conditions to cause uh, the problem by producing toxins. So this is what is happening here. So what we are going to do is we have to get a vaccine that is capable of uh, 
attracting those toxins that uh, have been produced in these animals, binding the toxins such that we may reduce the death rates that are happening at this farm. This is happening to the cows and the goats. So remember to vaccinate no. these animals against those common diseases as well as deworm them on time to avoid such problems. Yeah.